Hi, I'm Hussam Delahi, a Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll see how Microsoft technology supports uh, other technologies like Android and Eclipse. And what we will do mainly is that we will build um, Windows Azure mobile service and we will connect it to Android and work on it uh, using Eclipse IDE. For that, I'll switch to the Windows Azure mobile service, um, Windows Azure portal. So here is the site. I already created an account. And here we see all the services within um, Microsoft Azure. So from mobile sites to uh, virtual machines to some other cool uh, services. I select mobile services and I already created an Android demo called mobile service. And here as we see we can connect the service to Windows Store apps, Windows Phone 8, iOS, Android, HTML5 clients, Xamarin apps, or even PhoneGap. So I am interested in Android application and I create a new Android app. So there is basically three steps. The first one is to go and download the tools, which is Eclipse for Android. Then you create a, a table. So I'll just hit create a table, it's already um, done. And the third step is to download a sample project, a sample Android project from um, here, I already downloaded it. And then I'll go to Eclipse and import that project. I already have done that, it's an Android demo. And within, without changing anything in this project, I'll just go and run it as an Android application. So hit run as Android application. So it's here, Android demo. And as we see in this sample app, it just contains um, a label for in which I can type text like Android, for example, then I click the add button and what's it gonna do is it will add this string into the table into the to do table that we previously previously created on the database hosted on Windows Azure and then here is the item Android if I try to type another one like mobile service and hit add it's gonna also add that string into another um, another row in, into that uh, table. And I can verify that by going to the portal here in the data node. I hit the table, it's to do item table. Then I have my table which have multiple row, uh, multiple columns. The first one, the ID, the text in which we find this string that we previously typed, it's Android, then we have mobile services and some other additional um, columns that indicates when we created um, this registration, if we did updated it, it registers the date, then the version of it. And we have another um, Another one here called it complete. It indicates if this to do item, if this item is um, completed or no. So let's um, th let's say for example that um, the item for mobile services is completed. So just by checking it. It's, um, it's now trying to uh, tell the database that this item was um, completed. So now from false, let's do a refresh and see the new, uh, so it's now um, returned to true. And it's the, uh, it registers also the updated uh, date so it's different from the date that was added in just some seconds 
what we can do also is that we can um, create uh, the uh, website version of this app let's go back here and let's go to um, select HTML JavaScript and create a new HTML app and here we'll go to the um, second step and download a sample project that contains uh, the HTML files, JavaScript and CSS uh, files needed for uh, to run the website, the sample website and now what I'm gonna do is I'll use um, I'll host this sample into uh, a real website using uh, Azure Mobile Services. So I'll hit web websites and create a new one. So let's just use the quick create template. Let's call it Android Demo. And let's um, make this default. So an Android demo will navigate to Android demo and and let's go to the configure tab and let's see to uh, edit in Visual Studio Online click in this choice and click in save will enable you to uh, to modify your website using uh, Visual Studio Online which is an online tool that enables you um, uh, to do some modifications onto your websites so now let's come back to the dashboard and now we can see an option that tells me that I can edit in Visual Studio Online. Let's click on it. So here is my workspace. So I'm gonna hit upload files and I'll add the files that were downloaded. So it's called Android Demo 2. I'll just Extract it. And choose these three simple files. Open. And just un uploading them. And from here I can hit run. To deploy this simple website. And here it is now live. So it's androiddemo.azurewebsites.net and here when it runs it tell me that there is an error it's an unexpected connection failure and here is um, a security option that doesn't allow any website to connect to your mobile service and we won't enable this website to do that so we will need this uh, the URL of this website and so from here I'm gonna go back to the mobile service and hit Android demo and here there is the configure tab where I can allow websites to connect to my mobile service so here it's called it cross origin resource sharing so I'll allow it here let's just let's Android, Android it. demo and hit save it's saved now let's come back to our website and hit refresh now i can see the string i, I previously typed which is android here and they can also add some other from uh, just from here 
So I'll just um, I'll add for example websites. Click add, and they can also check websites here, and it's gonna be deleted from the table. Let's verify that from here. So let's go to data to do item table and see the data that we are stored here. So it's, it adds websites and complete is true because we check it that uh, checkbox. So what we have done until now is just we connected an Android application and, and a website to our um, to our mobile service. So thank you and join me in my next videos.